this one's okay. Sin is sin. And labeling sin is not helpful and it's not healthy. What ends up happening is it actually destroys you. Instead of playing with sin, it says if you resist the devil, he's going to flee. I mean, it says it right there. You resist him, he's going to flee. But if you're courting him, saying, come on in, you're inviting him in, you're courting that sin, it's going to destroy your life. And so if you come in this thing, and it starts with a, with a proud attitude. And, I'll, and my wife will be the first one to tell you, I can be a little arrogant, I can be a little proud sometimes. I think God's given me her so that she can just, every once in a while, deflate the balloon. And that's not a bad thing. But look at this. You, if you resist Satan, he's going to flee. Don't court and play around with sin. Run away from it. Draw near to God and he's going to draw near to you. Draw near to the Father and he's going to draw near. When you draw near to God, which just simply means, simply, and it talks about purifying your hands, it says purify your motives, purify your heart, purify what God make me new, cleanse me. And that's the thing. It's going to be a daily walk of repentance. Martin Luther said, it, 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 it said, the believer, a true believer, will be marked by daily repentance, by someone who is constantly repenting of their sins. Not where we're, um, sin, 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 okay, I'm going to this revival, and i got to repent then. And then I'm going to sin, 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 and then I'm going to go to camp, and I'm going to repent then. Every day, every moment, you repent of those sins. You cleanse. You ask for cleansing. You ask for um, God to draw in and, 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 and make you new. And according to these verses, God wants to be close to us, but our affections sin. We tend to run away. We tend to run in a different direction. And this simply just simply means to purify our motives. When God is, God's willing to draw near to us, and this just simply means spending time with Him. Spending time in the Word, spending time. You say, man, sometimes that's difficult. Yeah, in this culture, it is difficult. It's difficult to want to sit down and actually read the Bible because there's a lot of things that are pulling for your affections. And that's what God's trying to get at is I want your affections. You're like, i got to work hard so I can pay for my new computer, my new phone. That's just take time out. If you spend time reading the Word, journaling, I mean, this week I have been. I'm not, and I'm not boasting on me at all, so don't take this, but I'm just trying to tell you that this thing is real. If you do this, God's going to talk to you. Spend time reading the Word. I'm not talking just surface to, okay, uh, do not ask what heaven's first thing is, do not ask what you know. All right, Father, thank you. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about actually reading this thing. And if you've got to go back and read it again with a highlighter, get some notes out, start writing, get a cross-reference, start reading this thing, and God's going to show you some things. And I'm just saying, this week I've done that. I've, I've opened my Bible and I've read and I've journaled and I've written and I've, and I've, I've read through these things. And I'm not boasting on, hey, look at me. I'm just saying that it, it's going to work. 